Who are the Ethiopians of Homer? Cush of Africa or Israel of Joppa? Andromeda is Fusca, usually translated as dark or brown. Her native land is Ethiopia in the Metamorphosis, but the Black Indies in the Ars Amatoria. Her parents, Cephas and Casophia, are the rulers of Ethiopia during the 16th and 17th centuries, considered the home of the blackest people in the world. Shades of Difference Mythologies of Skin Color in Early Modern England Jujata Ayengar Andromeda was dark or brown. Andromeda, her land was called Ethiopia or and Black Indies. Also, what we should understand about Andromeda was her father was ruler or king of Ethiopia. Cepheus. Also, concerning Andromeda, her land, home the blackest people of the world. So, where is Andromeda? Homer, this land called Ethiopia. Is this land in the land of Kush, Ethiopia, or in Ethiopia, Joppa? The land of Israel. We have seen in another place that the whole Asiatic region on the Mediterranean was anciently a part of Ethiopia or the land of Cush, and that Joppa, Ethiopia one of the most ancient Phoenician cities was the royal city of Cepheus, the Ethiopian. We have before remarked that the Ethiopia visited by Menelaus is not the country above Egypt, but an Ethiopia lying, lying around Jaffa, the ancient Jaffa. Again, the name of Ethiopians. That the environs of Jaffa and possibly the entire of Palestine anciently bore the name of Ethiopia. The most ancient Greeks in their writings and traditions knew nothing of that name, Phoenicians, but they did know and use such names as Ethiopians, Sidonians, and Iradians. Ethiopia was the term most commonly applied to the country afterwards called Phoenicia. This term as an appellation to describe some of the communities and districts that were under Phoenician control did not pass out of use until after the beginning of the Christian era. The entire country of Palestine anciently wore the name of Ethiopia. This ancient name, lingering still in latter times, is sufficient to determine the ethnic character 
of the Phoenicians. They were Arabian Kushites, the Ethiopians of Greek antiquity. The Ethiopians of Greek antiquity were Phoenicians. Cepheus, father of Andromeda. In Greek mythology, Cepheus was the name of two rulers of Ethiopia, grandfather and grandson. Cepheus, king of Ethiopia. In Greek mythology, Cepheus was ruler of the Phoenician nation of Ethiopia. Miraculous phenomena. Cepheus was the king of the Phoenician nation of Ethiopia. Its capital was the seaport Jaffa, modern Jaffa the port of Tel Aviv. When his queen, Cassiopeia, boasts that she is more beautiful than the Nereids, Poseidon sends a sea beast to destroy Jop. Cepheus offers Andromeda as sacrifice. Just as the beast is about to kill Andromeda, the hero, Perseus arrives, slays the beast, and takes Andromeda as his wife. Joppa to Jerusalem. Joppa, the port city of the Israelites slash Jews, slash Phoenicians. They are the Ethiopians of Greek literature. From the book, Rethinking the Other, page 260. A still more remarkable variant, perhaps the most remarkable, man's notice. It transferred Perseus' legendary feat to none other than the land of the Jews. At some stage, Cepheus' realm, the sight of Perseus' heroic rescue of Andromeda underwent startling transformation. The whole narrative received a Levantine setting. Cepheus now took on a Phoenician identity. The binding of Andromeda and her exposure to the sea monster, in fact, gained a precise location. The harbor city of Jaffa or Joppa. Perseus' liberation of the princess took place in the city associated with Phoenicia, but eventually to become a chief port of the Jews. Jewish appropriation of the classical myth turns out to be perhaps the most fascinating element of the hero's vicissitudes. Map of Phoenicia and Israel. Ethiopia. Ancient Ethiopia. Ethiopia, also known as Ethiopia, first appears as a geographical term in classical documents in reference to the Upper Nile region of Sudan, as well as certain areas south of the Sahara Desert. Its earliest mention is in the works of Homer. 
twice in the Iliad and three times in the Odyssey. The Greek historian Herodotus specifically uses the appellation to refer to such parts of Sub-Saharan Africa as were then known within the inhabitable world. Geographical Ethiopia is located in Africa, south of Egypt. Geographical Ethiopia, the nation of Kush. Ethiopians, a biblical and historical nation of Kush the son of Ham. Like the Egyptians, Cush rulers built pyramids, but they were much smaller and the style was different. Cush was ruled by a few different powerful queens. Queens seem to have been more important in Cush than in Egypt. Stone carvings were made to commemorate important buildings and events, just like in Egypt. Cush writing system was similar to Egyptian hieroglyphics, but scholars have been unable to understand most of it. What is this map showing us? It describes the relative location of Kush. Kush is located within the green. Egypt, Nubia, Sudan, modern day Ethiopia, Arabian Peninsula. In the green, lush green, is the area, geographical location of the city Joppa in Greek literature Cepheus and Cassophia parents of Andromeda were named as king and queen of Ethiopia Homer in his description of the Trojan War mentions several other Ethiopians. The Ethiopians of Greek literature were Israelites. What did Josephus, the Levite, write about Joppa? Joppa, the port city of the Israelites, slash Jews, slash Phoenicians. Josephus, the Levite. Flavius Josephus, the War of the Jews. Now, Joppa is not naturally a haven, for it ends in a rough shore, but all the rest of it is straight. But the two ends bend each other, where there are deep precipices and great stones that jut out into the sea, and where the chains wherewith Andromeda 
was bound have left their footsteps, which attest to the antiquity of 